What's up fighters? Today I want to talk to you about building up your courage, your self-confidence, and persevering. I'm going to be reading out of my book, Fighter, Five Keys to Conquering Fear and Reaching Your Dreams. If you don't have a copy of this, go to manifestshop.com. Just click the link below this video. But I want to keep reading this, and it says that faith is taking action when common sense says no. And sometimes people think you're crazy when you step out and go for a dream and start trying something new. And we're in a time right now where there's so much uncertainty and it's time to try something new. It's time to uh, go and step out and go somewhere where you've never been before. And I'm talking about here when I quit my job, it says, after I sent my resignation letter, my boss scheduled an in-person meeting with me at his house. He asked me to leave for a little while and come back to work part-time. I told him how much I appreciated his offer, but I politely declined. You see, I was all in. I didn't know how good I had it. Not only were they paying me well, but they promoted me quickly, and they understood my passion for music. I remember one Christmas, the vice president of the company that I worked for, they bought me Eminem's greatest hits as a show of celerity. And when I opened the gift that was sitting on my desk at 8 a.m. in the morning and saw who it was from, it blew me away. I'll never forget that. I came to work one morning and uh, the vice president bought me a, an album. It just meant so much to me, you know, that they, they believed in me, you know. And sometimes you got to believe in someone else's belief in you before your belief kicks in. You see, some people will see something in you that you don't even see yet. You see... But I guess it was my rebel side, the skater punk in me, fighting against the suits that was driving me away. I still wanted to do music. And from that point forward, I put my finances in the hands of people I barely knew. You see, I put my, um, my finances in the hands of a manager that I didn't even know and a label that I barely knew. And then I went on the road. I had a manager who never really believed in my music. And people made promises that were never kept. I went deep into debt in the process, over $30,000. But I also learned about the music business. I traveled the world and I figured out how the machine worked. The music industry, whether Christian or not, is like the NFL. You're the quarterback and better have your game face on or you're going to get run over. There was so much holding me back and it took me years to figure it out. But when I look back, I know if I hadn't had the courage to get out there and try something new, I wouldn't be where I am today. Now more than nine years later, I'm sitting in my house in California writing this book and thanking God I stepped out and had the courage to see it through. So many times I wanted to quit and go back to that job. So many times I cried when it got tough. So many times I second-guessed if it was the right decision. Have you ever second-guessed a decision that you had to make? Have you ever, you know, wondered, can I really do it? Do I really got what it takes? I want to say that you do have got what it takes. You just got to stay in the game, my friend. I'd be staying in some stranger's home on the road with a backpack full of CDs and a microphone begging people to love my music or playing sweaty, nasty festivals in the middle of summer wondering what I was doing when I had left an air-conditioned office and people who loved working with me. Pushing through all that crap, it's not sexy. And let me tell you, Chasing a dream is not always easy at first, and that's why so many people quit. They make a down payment towards their dream. They start, but they don't finish. And that's why I always say it's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. And I know if you stay in the game, you're going to finish great. Creating your own path is a lot of hard work, and it's lonely. You better believe it's lonely sometimes. It takes courage to have a vision, especially when other people can't see it. The label couldn't see it. My manager couldn't see it. I was just a white rapper from Canada. They didn't see potential there or sales. I wasn't marketable in their eyes. I watched them put money behind other artists and make them important calls. All the things I wanted them to do for me, but didn't. The label wasn't pushing me properly. I didn't have any radio hits, and some of my songs just weren't there. I'm not going to say any names or anything like that, but I can't tell you how tough it was when I was at some of these festivals playing the small stage, when I saw other artists playing the big stage. And it's crazy because so many of those artists aren't even around anymore, and I'm 10 times bigger than them. And I don't say that bragging. I say that because you got to have that fighter spirit, my friend. You got to stay in the game and you got to outwork them, outsmart them. You know, if God put a dream in your heart, He's going to give you the ability to fulfill that dream, but you got to stay in it. I saw so many people quit when it got hard. And when I tell you, don't quit, don't quit. Make sure you pick out, I'm reading out of my book, Fighter. Click the link below this video to get your copy, get the audio, get the ebook, and then you can just listen to this over and over. 
I had to push myself and pull others along with me. And that gets tiring, but you get to learn a lot about yourself. At what point is there not enough courage left to keep going? Where's your breaking point? Now I ask myself, what do I now, what do I see now that I didn't see five years ago? And how would someone else live my life if they were me? That way I can find new visions to propel myself forward. Courage takes commitment. And I want to stop there and just say, yeah, courage takes commitment. You know, is this dream really worth it to you? Do you know your why? Why is it that you're really doing this that's going to, you know, force you to push through the hard times, the lonely times? You know, I think of Moses who was lonely on the Mount Sinai. You think of Daniel who was in the lion's den alone. Jesus alone praying, you know, on that cross all alone. But let me just say, God is with you all the time. And I just want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails. A fighter is someone who never quits. Peace. This is not the end.